This little DIY Adirondack chair made with popsicle sticks is perfect for any beach-loving fairy in your home. Hi creative friend, this is Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit and welcome to our channel where my sister Sonia and I share creative nature-inspired DIY craft and home decor ideas each week. One of our most popular posts on the blog this past year was our DIY fairy garden. It's a beachy fairy garden terrarium. In this particular fairy garden, I've used some air plants which have done really well. We have a separate video here on our YouTube channel for how to assemble all the pieces in this fairy garden and you can find that video here. But today I'm going to be showing you how specifically to make this little Adirondack chair from popsicle sticks. It's really simple, it's a cute little craft and it just completely makes the fairy garden. So before we get started, pause this video and head over to Sustain My Craft Habit. I'll leave a link for you down in the description to grab a printable guide that you can use to help make the little uh, beach chair. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need wooden craft or popsicle sticks, branch snippers, a ruler measuring tape, hot glue gun with clear craft glue, paint and a paintbrush, and then our printable project guide, which you can download from sustainmycrafthabit.com. We're going to start by cutting out all the wood craft stick pieces using the project guide, or follow along with this video. For the chair back, we're going to cut out five popsicle sticks of slightly varying lengths, leaving the rounded end of the sticks intact. Next, we'll cut two pieces three inches long, again leaving one rounded end intact. For the chair seat, we'll cut five pieces, this time cutting both ends flat to one and three quarter inches long. While you're at it, cut a sixth piece the same size which will be used on the chair back as well as one slightly longer piece with both flat ends also for the chair back. For the chair's back legs, which also is the base of the chair seat, we'll cut two popsicle sticks, two and three quarter inches each, um, leaving one end rounded and cutting the other end at an angle. For the front legs, cut one small piece that has both flat ends and then slice it in half. Finally, to give the chair back that truly Adirondack style, you'll want to cut little angles off the bottom of the outer slats of the chair back. This may take a couple tries because the popsicle sticks tend to want to crack along the middle. But just do little bits at a time and you'll get it. Now it's time to assemble the chair. Let's start with the chair back. Assemble all five of the pieces side by side and then glue together with one of the shorter pieces that's 1.7 inches long. Also, about one third way up along the chair, glue the longer piece with the flat ends to hold the chair back together. This will also be the place of contact for the chair arms that you'll glue on later. Next, we're going to assemble the chair seat using the back leg pieces, and you're going to glue the 1.75 inch long chair seat slats to the longer edge of the uh, back leg piece. You may want to work in little sections because the hot glue tends to harden really quickly and you want to make sure that the slats stick on pretty well. The final slat will be at the very front of the seat and it's going to slightly bend over the rounded corners or the rounded edges of the popsicle sticks. Now it's time to glue the chair back onto the seat. So you're just going to put a little bit of glue and hold it all together until the glue hardens a bit. You want to be careful with the chair seat now because it's not quite, not quite sturdy yet until you assemble the arms. So 
So next you're going to add on those little front legs as shown. And this is a great time before the glue completely sets to make sure your chair is sitting as flat on the ground as possible. And finally, we're going to add on the chair arms as shown. And this really helps to stabilize the entire chair and hold it together. Again, look at it and make sure it's as centered as can be and looks all balanced. Once the hot glue has fully cooled and set, you can paint your chair in the color of your choice. And there you go, that's all you need to make your own little beachy chair for your fairy garden. We've also made these and put them on our rustic mantles in our cottage. And you could also drill a little hole on the top and use them for as ornaments for your coastal Christmas tree. So there's lots of crafting possibilities. If you enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel for a new DIY and decor ideas each week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.